everybody, what's up? How's it going? Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Welcome. This is Sean. I do sneakers, I do travel, and everything in between. In this episode, I'm going to show you sneakers from my recent trip to the Titan Basketball Outlet in Santa Rosa, Laguna. Yes, this Titan discount store is located in Novali. It's a little past Paseo Santa Rosa if you're familiar with that structure over there. Just take the Tagaytay Santa Rosa Road, go past Paseo, uh, Paseo de Santa Rosa, you're not gonna miss it, okay? Um, let me warn you though that traffic these days in SLEX is terrible. Uh, I don't mean to discourage you, but if you're from the area, if you're from Laguna, if you're from the south, take the trip. It's always gonna be worth it. There's great finds, and I'm gonna show you some of the sneakers that spoke to me in this episode. Before we get to the sneakers, I'd like to remind you guys of our giveaways. We're giving away two sneakers, two New Balance X Racers. This is a partnership giveaway. The, these two sneakers are actually partnership giveaways with Fresh and Nars Lagalag. All you have to do is to subscribe to my channel, enter their channels. The rest of the mechanics are at the description. Read them, follow them, good luck. Yep, here we go. We're gonna start with the Air Jordan 4 Laser. These sneakers released in January of this year, 2019. It really spoke to me. What laser sneaker does not speak to me, right? Absolutely beautiful sneaker. The official colorway on this is black, white, and gum. You also have uh, uh, hits of light brown here. Uh, just a little bit of history on the Air Jordan 4 lasers. Uh, the last time we've seen an Air Jordan 4 laser was in uh, 2015. Uh, and the first time we've seen that was in 20, uh, 2005, right? Um, this, this particular 2019 release though has a fundamental difference. And I don't know how you're gonna feel about it, uh, but instead of being etched, instead of the, the laser uh, detail, being etched onto the uppers. The 2019 release has a print execution uh, that might uh, that might spell the difference for some. If you're some kind of purist, if you're loyal to uh, the 2015 and the 2005 AJ4 releases, uh, you might stay away from this. But, but I tell you, uh, if you haven't seen a pair yet in the leather, uh, get to a store, go to Titan, pick it up, look at the sneaker. You're gonna love the detail. It's printed, yes, but um, it doesn't fall short on quality and what it stands for. You know, the AJ4 lasers are, these are anniversary sneakers. When it first came out in 2005, uh, it was a uh, celebratory sneaker for Nike's, uh, uh, for, for Air Jordan's 20th anniversary. When it came out in 2015, it was to celebrate Air Jordan brand's 30th anniversary. Okay, another sneaker that spoke to me. Well, this sneaker actually screamed at me. It's orange, it's screaming orange. This is the Air Jordan 18 Orange Suede. All right, Air Jordan 18s are expensive. You know that because they look premium. They, uh, uh, they convey luxury, they convey Italian craftsmanship. And uh, in case you don't know it yet, uh, the inspiration for Air Jordan 18 is um, uh, car racing, right? It looks like a racing shoe. It kind of looks like a race car. If you really think about it, there's these vents on the side uh, that are inspired by racing cars, okay? Um, so yeah, th these sneakers released in September of 2018, a little over a year ago. Um, super expensive when they came out and obviously they are marked down here at the Titan basketball outlet um, it's a it's a it's a 15th anniversary celebration sneaker uh, this is part of a pack there was a blue one and there was a yellow one which I did not see at the Titan uh, basketball outlet in Santa Rosa uh, I'd like to give you a, a piece of trivia about these sneakers okay so look at the tongue on these 18s you're gonna see an inscription there it says 86 V right um, I'll tell you that the blue one has a different inscription the blue one has 4 me uh, there's a yellow one and the yellow one has 7 4 G uh, and uh, people have been deba debating what uh, the letters and the numbers stood for uh, did a little bit of research and the, the this is the code I mean the, those inscriptions on the tongue 
are actually the, the internal Nike color codes for the sneaker, right? So 86V, you could say, is their code for orange or their version of orange. Let's now move on to our third sneaker. Well, actually third, fourth, and fifth sneakers. This is the Reflections of a Champion pack. Air Jordans 6, 7, and 8 to represent Michael's first three championships. As you know, he had a total of six. Two three-peats, this is the first three-peat. It's the Reflections of a Championship pack. Let's start it off with the Air Jordan 6 covered in 3M, all sneakers, all three sneakers here are covered in 3M reflective uppers. Uh, but my favorite in the pack is the 6. If you haven't picked up a 6 yet, lately, any Air Jordan 6, I suggest for you to get to a store, look for a 6, and just hold it and appreciate it. You'll know what I mean. 6s lately have been done in the, uh, in the best quality there is. I just absolutely love the 6s that have come out recently. And uh, one of the best things about this particular sneaker is that it carries Nike Air on the back tab. Um, so uh, you kind of get that um, heritage feel, you get that OG feel with uh, the modern twist, of course, using the reflective 3M material. This right here is the Air Jordan 7, covered in reflective material, of course, and you have the hits, the color hits, that pay homage to the original Air Jordan 7 that Michael wore in that season. I love the Air Jordan 7. It's one of my favorite Air Jordan silhouettes of all time. Uh, the Air Jordan 7 also carries the distinction of uh, being the first Air Jordan that didn't bear the Nike logo, the Nike branding whatsoever. Right, uh, so it was heavily branded with the Jumpman. So I, I love the I love the Jordan Seven. You should check this sneaker out if you have a chance. And our third and final sneaker in the Reflections of a Championship <laughs> pack is the Air Jordan Eight. Once again, covered in 3M reflective material. What sets the Eight apart from the pack is that it has the straps. Of course, the Eights carry cross straps. Um, it's not my favorite Jordan, but I would still recommend it because uh, it's unique. It's a unique Jordan, cross straps, it's a heavy sneaker. Um, I don't, I haven't played in eights and I don't think I ever will. Uh, they're just heavy, but um, it, it doesn't fall short on style. What Jordans can you think of that have straps, right? Start from the one, what, uh, the 20 perhaps, then Anyway, you get the idea, it's a unique Jordan, check it out. Our next basketball sneaker here is the KD12. It's Durant's signature sneaker, 12th installment. This is the Golden State Warriors colorway, obviously white, blue, and gold. Look at this, guys. This is a brand new sneaker. These just came out this year. Uh, they dropped in May. And uh, what, in a matter of four months, they, they're on sale already. So uh, it's a good deal. They're super fresh. Uh, the official colorway here is white, game royal, and amarillo. Amarillo, of course, is yellow. It's Spanish for yellow. Um, it's a unique sneaker, guys. The KD12 is known for not having a strobel. It has a zoom pad for a strobel. The strobel is the hard part under the insole. Uh, that, uh, that, that's the thing in between the insole and your midsole. The strobel of the KD12 is a zoom pad. Isn't that crazy? I have a pair of KD12s. I play in them. I love the sneaker, so go check it out. The next sneaker here, LeBron fans, raise your hands. This is the Nike LeBron 3 Quick Strike Houston Oilers, all right? When, th when, when these sneakers originally came out in 2006, when this colorway came out in 2006, uh, it, was, uh, it was the All-Star break and uh, the All-Star games were being held in Houston, right? And uh, this is sort of a commemorative sneaker. They were commemorating the Houston Oilers. That's the NFL team in Houston that played from, I don't know, from long ago to 1996. All right, so this is a commemorative colorway. So Houston Oilers, they carry these colors. I love this sneaker, I don't have a pair yet, right? Um, now that they're on sale, I'm, I'm seriously considering uh, picking these up. 
And our final sneaker is the Air Jordan 13 cap and gown. You might remember the Air Jordan 11 cap and gown from way back. Um, this is the Air Jordan 13 version. All black, formal execution, patent leather, the works. If you're attending a wedding or something, if you're getting married, or uh, you have a black tie event coming up, I don't know, you might want to check the sneaker out. So these released in April of 2019. Again, these went on sale quite early. Um, look at the cat's eye here at the heel. Uh, this is one detail that I didn't really, uh, that I didn't get excited about. I wish they kept the, the cat's eye uh, to the hologram original form. You know, they blacked it out. They blacked it out. But imagine that uh, the cat's eye is still in hologram form. I don't think it would have uh, um, compromised or lessened the, the formal appeal of the sneaker. Anyway, that's just me. Uh, but still, check the sneaker out. Good quality, you might like it. That's it for the episode, guys. What do you think of the sneakers? Are there any sneakers that spoke to you? Do you have questions? Let me know, okay? Before we go, I'd like to remind you that your value as a person is not measured by what's on your feet. Be kind, that's more important than sneakers. I'll see you next time.